Hello again, you're doing the newest episode of a D&D Pokemon horror thing. I haven't really come up with a real name for it yet. Um, we've got Mia. Hello! we got Cheesy. Good afternoon. We've got Lettuce. Hi! And hey! You never expect the Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so random, okay. It's um, unexpected as yeah. We didn't expect it, so I guess it works. Um, yeah. And we've got Sir Pounce Lot, who's just going to be listening in like always. Hey. Yeah. Um, for those of you who weren't here last time, um, we met a new character by the name of uh, Mimi, who is a android. <laughs> and she basically has lost her legs because they were stolen by bandits. Um, in the previous episode, Monarch basically thought it was a smart idea to attack her without his Pokemon, so he got beat up pretty badly. Because <laughs> um, he was like, no, I'm, I'm just going to fight with my bare fists, and that will be a smart idea. Um, so basically we've just been told that um, the bandits from a previous episode have stolen her legs, so we're going to look for them. Uh, it is now night time, so... I'm guessing that each of you is going to, like, bring out a torch or something. Uh, do I have a torch? <laughs> we'll say that the um, the old man at the train station gives you each a torch. Well, I do have my ball, Lantern. Yeah, yeah, he's got his ball on. So, let's see. After a slight walk uh, with the Officer Jenny that you called um, last episode, because you had a uh, encounter with... Um, after me, Mimi went mental and she nearly attacked you all. After you fixed that situation, you called off to Jenny to help you out. Um, to him, you, you're walking with her as you start to investigate the camp. You you three the, you see the three corpses of the bandits from before that were not cleared away because they were just left there to rot basically, and the squished octacular that um. <laughs> that Lettuce's uh, teleporting mon basically dropped a rock on its head and killed it. There's just blood <laughs> still everywhere. Um, Jenny, however, sees the blood and just, you can see her throwing up. She seems like she's not really a fan of brutal stuff or blood in the general. Uh, let's see. Do you want to investigate the area? Uh... Sure. Okie dokie. See. Uh, let's see. All of you roll the d8 then. D8. I got a one. Oh. <laughs> I got a five. Okay. What do you and get, let's Lettuce? see what I get. I got a seven. Okie doke. Uh, Cheesy finds a vial of strange liquid. You feel like you've seen this before. Uh, you just found a level up liquid uh, cheesy. Oh. So it will either cause your Pokemon to evolve, level up, or mutate. Mm. Me uh, found a razor claw in the dirt. That oh. can be used to evolve uh, Sneasels into Weaviles. And what did you say you fa um, got lettuce? Uh, seven. Oh. <laughs> Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Yeah. And then, what, wait, she got something for Sneasels? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, that's good. Because um, I think Soul has a Sneasel. Uh, he's called Blizzard. Um, and you let us find a shed covered by a sheet. Do you pull uh, the sheet off and go inside, or...? I, I pull the sheet off and go inside. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> when you open the door, it's full of crates. That's it's full lovely. of crates and what? <laughs> Do you want to search the ca crates, or...? Oh, it was it all I... just crates? <laughs> yeah, it seems like a, um, kind of a warehouse shed. So Can just, I like... bust in and, like... Search the crates before him. Uh, can, I him, so can, <laughs> can I just, just stop her? Just like out of the way, dick away me. Um, 
Um, yeah, I search the crates. <laughs> okay, so you and Mito are just rummaging around through these crates. Uh, what's Cheesy going to do? Cheesy! Um... Uh, the... I don't know, can I just keep exploring for a bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Alright, roll. Uh, roll a... Uh, D6 for yourself, Cheesy. I got a six. Oh, nice. While, um... Looking around um, outside, you find... A pokeball underneath a piece of, like, old debris or something. Oh, hello there. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to look inside it, or...? Yeah, I'd love to. Okie doke. <laughs> Beyonce, you sounded... <laughs> That's amazing. Um, when you open the Pokeball, you are amazed to find a clink. So you now have a clink on you. A clink? Yeah, you know the little gear Pokemon. Oh! So it's clink, yeah. clang, and then clink, clang. So just a clink appeared and now it's attached to me? Yeah, you found it's Pokeball. So you're guessing that it, a trainer basically had it, but um, these bags basically Pokemon. stole it. So you now own a clink. <laughs> Yay! I need to name it. Mm -hmm. Gear. Do you want to call it gear? <laughs> Cause, um, no, I'll come up with it by the end of the episode. I just uh, need to figure something. Okie dokie. Just name it Gearbox. <laughs> Gearbox software. <laughs> um, as you and as Lettuce and me are rummaging through these boxes, um, you see, you how do you get into them? Do you rip open them or do you just find a bash and blast them? What, open what, what type of boxes are my they? Oh, the sword uses uh, mine. Yeah, uh, no, hold on, hold on. Are there like wooden crates or like cardboard boxes? <laughs> uh, they're wooden crates with like um, metal locks on them. Oh, metal locks? Oh, that's easy. I could just use the method that I used before with the lock. <laughs> <laughs> and just teleport the lock away using uh, my little psycho here. Yeah, your evolved um, psycho, Aid. which is now called. Yeah. Pranga. Yeah, and I called her Psycho. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah. I can see why she loves you so much. Yeah, seeing as you've made her yeah, the do so I many call... different things, the so uh, brutal. <laughs> like uh, she's she's slowly become brutal herself. I've yeah. barely done anything. Yeah, because you taught her that way. <laughs> uh. Yeah. So, um, you're gonna teleport the locks away. What are you gonna do, Leah? Mia? Uh, I use Vine Whip. My bubble store, uh, Branny yeah. uses Vine Whip. Okay, on the back. As you go ham on these boxes, um, bits of wood go everywhere. As you just see, Lettuce has already opened all the boxes, but Mia's bubble store goes mental and just destroys them all. <laughs> <laughs> It did like shards of wood go flying everywhere. It was it was just for my brandy to have fun. You just see that's um, all he needs. You just see let uh, cheesy just kind of walk in as he ducks as hundreds of shards of wood go flying at him. <laughs> oh, no. Um, I feel like I'm getting the short end of the stick. <laughs> You're the one making the short end of the stick. <laughs> <laughs> As the smoke clears and you guys open your eyes after all the bits of wood have gone everywhere, you see hundreds and hundreds of mannequin parts and robot limbs. It seems like these bandits have been randomly stealing uh, bits and pieces from other androids around the region. Mm, lovely. But why do you need mannequin parts? I, I want. Know. Can I? Can I build one? Can I build like a few and just place them in a circle around lettuce? 
I could just use my Pokemon to tell her how to set circle. <laughs> so, so Meaty wants to kind of try and put her own, like, mannequin android together. Is that what you want to do? I mean, okay, if I can't put him around lettuce, do a circle of my mannequin androids around Cheesy. Oh, so I'll say roll a d10 for building a mannequin android then. Wait, can I make an android Pokemon? If you want to try and build one, then yeah. <laughs> I'll say yeah, right. you roll the d10. Okay, let's see where's the d10. Okay, here it is. I am trying to find the d10, because I know I have one, but... Alright, let's see what I get. And I ended up getting a... A 9. Oh, I'll say, um... <laughs> What did you get, Mia? Uh, four. Do, do you say four? Yeah. Yeah, she got four. Yeah. You see Mia trying to put together an android, but <laughs> something goes wrong and it causes it to explode. <laughs> <laughs> she kind of just gets I completely just, coated in want... dust and smoke. I just wanted a friend. Cheesy just slowly walks over and hugs her. Hug. We'll be able to get it next time if there is. Yeah. Um, <laughs> as for is. lettuce, you don't understand how, but you just see his hands kind of like go really quickly as he starts to build something. It's like a puff of smoke and clanking noises. Yeah, you just you just kind of hear like noises like from tools and stuff that he just picked up for off the ground and just like started welding stuff together. Just made a robot looking. Um, uh, you kind of see that whatever it is starts to slowly move, but then it kind of falls back down and turns itself off. So I'll say for now, Lettuce, your uh, attempt building life, um, I'll say it didn't fail, but then it didn't n not fail at the same time. So you can put that in your bag for later if you want. What? So All you right, just so... got a, an, an Android idea, basically. Or I'll else. name it Experiment 15. Okay. <laughs> point 15. Yeah. So it's neither alive nor dead at this point in time. <laughs> um, do you want to investigate all these uh, bits and pieces that you didn't use for, like, trying to build stuff? Yep. Okie doke. As you um, investigate these android and doll parts that you see scattered around, you notice that a lot of them are covered in noughts and s uh, chalk noughts and crosses games. Like, the people who, like, stole these kind of got bored halfway through, like, the process of stealing. Uh, I'll say, um, are you still looking for Mimi's legs by the chance? Mimi's legs? Yeah, basically, uh... she's an android who controls the train. And, um, uh -huh. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And uh, her legs were stolen by bandits, and this is where we are. So, are you going to yeah. try and look through these for her legs? Sure. Yes. Okay. Because, okay. like, yeah. I'll... Do we get a reward for finding her legs? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> the satisfaction of bringing a person's legs back? She, she's an android. The satisfaction so. isn't enough. I want money! <laughs> <laughs> I don't want her help. I want her goods. Um, I'll say roll a d20 for that. Like, looking for an item through all these. Alright, let's see what I got. I keep sitting my pencil on you. Everybody! I got a six. <laughs> you got a six? I got a three. I clearly don't want to find these. Well, I got a sixteen. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> so you kind of just see um, Meter and Cheesy trying very hard to find um, Mimi's legs. However, when the battle was going on where she found out that she lost her legs, you two were asleep, so you don't really understand what they look like. No, oh, I was there. <laughs> you say to yourself. <laughs> Lettuce, however, has a distinct picture in his head of what they look like. And he sees something shining through the bottom of, like, the pile that he's sifting through. The pile of things that Mita used. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, they blew up and they just kind of fell back to the ground. Um, do you go to grab the legs that you see? Uh, 
I use Fade's ability to teleport them out. <laughs> As Fade tries to use teleport, however, something goes wrong, and uh -oh. the item at the bottom of the pile does not move. Hmm. Maybe it's the entire pile. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a bunch of piece, smaller pieces. <laughs> By like a cord, string, maybe, string like necklace. Uh, so maybe You're the fat? item at the bottom of the pile doesn't move, but maybe if I could teleport the entire pile except for said item. Hmm. If you want to try, and just drop it on Mita. Alright, let's. Uh, I am very small. I'll say so what do you do? I'm going to make it crap. If you want to try okay. and teleport a pile onto me, uh, eighteen. <laughs> so oh rude. no. Um, I'll say <laughs> it seems like a lot to um, teleport, and you see it slightly teleport out of existence, and then it kind of just teleports back to where it was. So it doesn't seem like this pile will be able to be teleported away. It seems a bit too heavy for um, fade to move. <laughs> Ha, ha. Uh, I was so close. I got an 18. It almost hit you. Jeez, <laughs> <laughs> he's the only one who loves me here. No. So, are you going to try and... Um, you guys going to try and help let us pull out these legs then? He can pull them out himself. Hey, you're the one not helping. I <laughs> was helping. Totally uh, you know what? I'll help. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. So I'm guessing all three of you kind of grab hold of what you appear that you think are Mimi's legs. And are you going to try and pull as one? Uh, uh, pull things off around it first, I guess. Okay. So you kind of like are trying to dislodge them. Yeah, dislodge it. My uh, giraffe rage is going to help because he's strong. Okay. Oh, yeah, he's a strong boy. He's a strong boy. You kind of see um, Giraffe Rage start pulling items out of the way and um, as you're trying to like sift through this. All of a sudden something grabs hold of Giraffe Rage's face though. <gasps> baby! No baby! No baby! I want the baby! I want the baby! He of course freaks out and runs in the opposite direction. Oh. So you just you just see Mita running after Giraffe Rage as he tries to <laughs> like, get away from the situation. <laughs> I figured something had to be holding it or something. You make me sad. As you're um, trying to get through this pile, um, you hear the whole pile start to shake. As if something's in there. Do I have any snacks? I mean, like, food? Are you going to try and tempt whatever it is out of this pile? Yeah. I have a berry. If you, you give have me a berry, off. <laughs> I have two hundred and fifty-one berries. Oh, <laughs> I wish you hadn't told me that. <laughs> you gave oh. me all those berries. Yeah, Actually, guess. that's either two fifty-one or just two hundred. Well, uh, twenty-five. Honestly, it's kind of blurred. Yeah, uh, I was writing saying, because you have <laughs> oh, berries wait, on wait. you. Um, don't don't uh, plant type. Pokemon have a certain scent that they send out that attracts other Pokemon. Do you mean grass type Pokemon? <laughs> yeah, grass type. I <laughs> my brain type. said my plant type. Plant type. type. <laughs> oh yeah. Wait, I have Bell Sweet. I have or er, Skull Sweet, okay. and I have Bulbasaur. Yeah. So yeah, Try just maybe. to be on the safe side, uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna say that's 25 because honestly, it's kind of faded out with all the writing. Okay. Are you guys going to try and coax this thing out of the pile and or attack it? I'm gonna coax it! Don't hurt my baby! Okay. You yeah, I'm not attacking it either. Okay. Just coaxing. You kind of see your Bulbasaur um, start shaking, and he lets out, like, a pheromone gas out of his, like, plant on his back. Oh, that smells good. <laughs> yeah, it, sm <laughs> it smells like milk and cookies. It's a very nice scent. <laughs> You kind of see the pile start shaking um, as a small opening in the pile appears and you see a pair of eyes looking back at you. It's kind of cute, but at the same time, I'm terrified. <laughs> ah, it's so cute. I want it. I want it. Can, uh, can I have Skull Sweet? 
help Bulbasaur with this scent thing? Like, release our scent too. Okie doke. As you yeah. see, um, he, so your skull tree yeah. helps out with the um, scent spray, I guess. <laughs> if that's how you aim it. Um, <laughs> as um, the scent gets stronger, you see whatever is in the um, pile start to get very agitated. Like you see, oh. like oh. it, I'm not sure if it doesn't like the smell or it's just too overpowering for it. Okay, okay. Um, what else can I do? What else are my Pokemon good for? <laughs> they have to be used for. I will not use them. <laughs> um, um, what are your uses? <laughs> I am looking. Shut. So what you gonna do? Bad boys, bad boys. What you gotta do? What you gotta do when we come for you? We could start seeking what and see if that helps. Do. I highly doubt it though. So, who's gonna do something then? I can. Oh, wait. What Can I, I just teleport that thing out? <laughs> so you're just gonna Force grab- you're just gonna make Trianga basically grab that. Cause you know that yeah, you can think. Okay. So, with a very bla big blast of um, telepath- teleporting power, whatever is in the pile just seems to start shaking and then it just like, appears on top of the pile. Ah! Okay, uh, tell- um, Rookie's gonna stop with whatever, uh, she was. Bulbasaur's gonna keep with milk and cookies. You see a very oddly looking creature sitting in front of you. It appears Aww. to be covered in rags. <laughs> and has two red eyes. Okay, it's adorable. I don't care. This thing is adorable to me. I got a creepy kind of adorable aesthetic. <laughs> Actually, I didn't think that you guys would go for this, so I didn't draw it. Um, yeah, I want it! I want the baby! It has, from what it's, I can describe to you, it has two red eyes that kind of make up most of its face, kind of thing. Uh, two long ears. It's like a bunny! Aww. And a... Or a cloth or rag that's covering its entire body, so it kind of doesn't show the exact shape of what it is, but it has a squirrel-like tail. Oh, I, uh, what I, I immediately... it's, like, so it's like a pachira suit, pachira suit mixture or whatever. Uh, I can't... It's like a. I have Fade give this Pokemon or well, this thing or berries because we don't know if it's Pokemon yet, but it's close. Possibly. <laughs> you kind of just see um, it very, very carefully walk towards Fade. Snatches the berry, okay. shoves them in its mouth, and scarpers off. I'll say that's like seven orange berries. Because <laughs> <laughs> I just, never said how many. <laughs> just, um, you see it hide behind like a car tire. And starts just numbing on the um, berries. You just hear like crunching noises. Mira, are you gonna yeah. catch? Yeah, yeah. But like, I want oh. it to trust me. I don't want to just like snatch it. That's Is actually. It... <laughs> well, I, don't... I guess you can try and use your one berry you have then, Mia. Can I? Can I like crouch down and just sit down and like hold up the berry? Yep, yep. Like, yep. like make myself small and like. Mira, I can give Please. you some more berries. <laughs> no, I don't want your help. You just tried to crush me with a pile of stuff. As a joke, because you weren't helping. <laughs> <laughs> you were destroying the place. I was helping! I tried to help! I like how I your term of joking is three. like, I will crush her to death with this pile. <laughs> 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 she tried to surround me by pieces. <laughs> yeah, it creeped me out! It wasn't like I was actually gonna do damage to you. Yeah, it's not like my thing was actually gonna work. <laughs> okay, so I'll say that 
because um, Lettuce is being generous, he gives a bunch of berries to Mita, and Mita slowly crouches down and starts putting the berries um, like a pile ne next to her. The same kind uh, like, of... like. Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, just kind of like pat beside me and like. Like. Aww. So I gave you six berries. Okay, okay so seven in total. So it's gonna have 14 berries if it eats them all. Yep. That's a good meal. Yeah. <laughs> As, um. Meter is like getting it slowly to walk towards her. You all of a sudden hear a horrible scream in the distance. Oh my gosh! As a where are you, my friend? <laughs> <laughs> you haven't seen. So this is the while. thing that you're. This is the thing. Oh, <laughs> oh, these things. Yeah, a wild zomina comes darting out of. Okay, the I like. I like turn around and I protect this like creature. I like kind of just like. So you can put just my arms up this out, and I, like, um, cloth dude in your arms. I will protect this creature with my life. Okie do. And Go no, for a one. You know what I'll do? <laughs> Actually, the... let us before you can do anything. The officer Jenny, who um, was stationed nearby, who was kind of scared of all that blood you saw earlier earlier on. She also has a massive fear of mutant mons. I mean, zombie mons. And before you can do anything, as it pounces towards Mita and the little cloth dude. She fires a bullet right at it. It hits it square between between the eyes, and it turns to dust. Ooh! Hmm. Yeah, I was just gonna throw in my uh, ghost mimic you. <laughs> well, spirit mimic you. Yeah, that zombie some Yina is totally dead. Like it's not coming back. <laughs> Aww, poor baby. The little creature that's in your arms, Mia. Um seems to warm up to you a little bit more. Like, it seems to think that you've saved its life, so... <laughs> oh, so adorable! It slowly climbs into your rucksack and falls asleep. <laughs> so now you have a mystery mon on your team. Mystery mon? Yeah, mon! Okay, <laughs> do I at least know a gender or anything? It appears female. Right, you can see it. Like his eyes seem to show that. Okay. I like how eyes show gender now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like lately, really? like I've been drawing characters <laughs> with mascara and stuff. I don't know. Um. So me has got that. Uh, where was I? Uh, as you go go over and calm down, Officer Jenny, who's not really f um, killed anything before. She seems a bit, like, not scared, but at the same time, she doesn't seem like herself. You kind of just... Shake. Yeah, she's just kind of shaking. Um, after ca calming her down, you head back to um, where Mimi is, who's still powered down. And, um, to your surprise, Bakugo is there waiting next to Mi Mimi's body. Hey. And he reattaches them for her. All the wires, electronics, um, like reconnecting them and stuff like that. And he runs the antivirus software that he had from the old man. He then calls over the Pikachu that you met earlier, who had been hiding out of shock, and starts to reboot, reboot her. As soon as Mimi wakes up, she kisses Bakugo. You're a test, my hero! Bakugo <laughs> pushes her off. <laughs> Get off me! And anyway, I already have someone I like. She gets up and starts jumping around with, with questions for Bakugo. I've got a picture of Mimi now that she's got her legs. Oh my god, who? Who is it? Yeah, she's I got really legs want to now. How about this person? <laughs> She starts jumping around Bakugo, asking him questions, or loads of questions that you can tell that he's very uncomfortable with. Like, she's asking what age he is, and like, where he first um, met a girl, and all this other stuff, and he's getting very embarrassed. 
He then, like, runs off um, with Mimi chasing after him. He, he disappears <laughs> out of sight, and you guys don't see him for a while. I wish him luck. <laughs> as, um, <laughs> as this goes on, you guys um, start realising it's getting kind of late. Like, even though it's been night time for most of this um, excursion, you guys are getting kind of tired. So, I have... So I'm guessing all you guys are going to set up your tents for the night? Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Wait, can we do the cooking thing? Yeah, yeah. Cooking. Uh, you want to do some cocaine? <laughs> <laughs> you said cooking, not cocaine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I said cooking, but... I heard you. Were, I heard. Can we do the Me and my thing? Pokemon will remain drug free. <laughs> <laughs> so it kind of um, cheesy cooks up a nice little stir fry for you guys. Oh, we roll for that because I don't yeah. know how to cook. Okay, yeah, I'll say roll a d10 for that then, buddy. So I think it turns out well or not. Yeah, I think I'm gonna stick with the whole. Uh, whole. Can we do the cocaine hey. thing? <laughs> you kind of just see. Um, let us kind of turn around, and you just see him kind of smoking something that he probably shouldn't be. <laughs> and, um, like, and when he's happy, he seems pretty out of it. Why don't we do it not... I mean, one, you're not supposed to smoke cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> you seem, he seems, like, very odd afterwards. It doesn't appear to be cocaine, but it doesn't seem to be some sort of non-bad uh, drug. It just seems to be like he's been smoking something that he probably shouldn't be. He's smoking leaves with chemicals. Yeah, he just kind of picks up some leaves off the ground and starts smoking them. Um, oh, wait, we're in a train station. Yeah. You kind of just see the old man you met earlier. He look at you kind of oddly like this. Like he's kind of very confused by what you're doing. Um, I'll say because you got an eight um, cheesy for your cooking, it doesn't taste bad, but it doesn't taste good either. It just kind of tastes My okay. <laughs> Yay. Yay! Your you have a future in cooking, Cheesy! Your Ooh. newly acquired clink, however, seems to really like it. And he Yay. eats, like, a whole plateful. I'm gonna name you Clinker. Okay, I name, I name my mystery on, uh, Tatter. T-A-T-T-E-R. Rest Pokemon. Tatter. Did you say Clinker? Was your... No, um, I'm Clink's name? I wanna see what its reaction is to Clinker. Does it like it? What does it think? Um, oh, it kind yeah, of just I looks at probably... you and tilts itself because it doesn't have a head, so it's just a gear. It just kind of tilts its whole body and kind of looks at you. Oh, kind of I, I, I should probably do that with Mystery Mon. Like, say, is it, like, okay to call you Tatter? Because I don't want it to be, like, hate me because I named it something it doesn't like. It kind of jumps out of the bag and starts, like, jumping on your head and kind of looking you over your <laughs> into your eyes. Like, it seems like it's pretty happy with what it's um, being named. <laughs> It then kind of yeah. jumps back into its bag and goes into it like a sleep. Yeah, <laughs> it really likes sleep. The yeah, thing is, like... I would check all my Pokemon, but I'm pretty sure at least uh, Todoroki does not like the name Todoroki. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he I named him when he was level five, so he's not going to say now. Um, Todoroki. Yeah, I'm going to say Todoroki. Yeah, so, I think for now, your Clink's name will be just clink for now then, until you change its name, when you want to. Alright. Okay, do. Um, yeah, as you guys go to sleep, um, you all kind of dream about the next day of probably getting onto this train. And I'll say, probably six hours go by as um, day oh, break God. hits. And you all yeah! wake up to the sound of a bell ringing and a whistle blowing. Oh, we're going to be late for the train. As you leave your tents and pack everything away, you see there's the train has had major repairs done to it. Like, it seems like all the repair guys came in while you were sleeping and fixed the train. Poor dudes. They need their sleep. Yeah. I think they probably just sleep in the day or something then. You see the train um, station is full of passengers. Um, like, all getting ready to board the train. You guys are lucky enough um, to get on the train just as um, the doors close. You see the old security guy from earlier um, wave in the distance. 
as the train starts moving, you kind of see very far away from you, Bakugo running like a nutcase, trying to <laughs> get to the train. He calls uh, uh, I use fade. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to, buddy. He's, there's a little thing here. Um, he calls out a very large flying Pokemon slash mutant mon. You can't really oh. see from the distance. Jumps onto it and it flies onto the train. He then recalls the mon and lands through a skylight in fr front of you guys. Just as he does this, however, you're going to like this, Mia, because I know that you like cute things. Mm -hmm. Due to the kind of sudden noise that he hit, he does when he hits the floor, all of you start feeling a weird sensation in your bags. Like, it, their bags are shaking. <gasps> the, the, the eggs! The eggs! I will say, each of you roll a d10. I have come up with a name for it. Uh-oh. The thing is, I'm in a storm right now, so every single bit... Uh-oh. Uh so, let's see. Uh. I got a one. Oh. <laughs> I got a seven. Oh, you don't. Hmm. I got a ten. Oh, really? Ooh. Yep. Because Lettuce got a ten, he now is the proud owner of. Wait, who got a D ten? I did. He got a shiny oh. Eevee. Adorable. Whereas you two each got a regular Eevee, but you see me as Eevee good. has green eyes. I don't care. Although you're probably, you're my favorite, <laughs> give it up. So me has a green-eyed Eevee, and I'll say your um uh. Uh, Cheesy's Eevee has yellow eyes. And I think I'm gonna just immediately use the leaf stone on my Eevee. <laughs> okay, so you, you just want to straight <laughs> leafy on. Okay. Yeah, because I've been holding the leaf stone since the beginning. <laughs> okay, so... I, I, I like my Eevee. My Eevee baby will decide who, who he or she wants to be. I will not force them. So you have a shiny leafy on now, um, Lettuce. Mm-hmm. Okay, do Have you, either of you got any evolution stones on you? If you want to hold no. of yours? Not. I, I don't believe I do. Although I think. What level does George evolve? George? Uh, I had that written down. Where did I put that? George, George, George has a jungle song. Uh, don't you dare sing that, Ari! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna try to remember I wrote it down. Uh, where is it? Oh, there it is. Ah, very. Uh, let's see, George will evolve at level 15. He's one level away! Yep. Wait, he, I can't remember. Yeah, I think he's one level away. Wow! My big boy's is gonna grow up! Yeah, and remember buddy, he's a toxic mon, so he can evolve into a legendary if oh, you get yeah. the right, um, roll. So I'm guessing you're all going to be happy as the train starts to leave. And I will say, I'll end this episode here. Oh no! This is guess... Zerpify, Lettuce, Cheesy and Mita signing off. Peace. Bye-bye! Bye! -bye. Bye. <laughs>